It's always great to find a hidden gem in the designer fragrance world. Here she comes. Boom! <laughs> Cinnamon lovers, let's get together and celebrate Potion. Let's go. Spray on my cologne. Spray on my cologne. She be like, what, what you got on? Hey YouTube Fragrance family, welcome to another Robes 08 Fragrance Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a designer house, not only a designer house, but a Canadian designer house right from my backyard, well not really, the house of D squared and their scent called Potion. I'm going to be reviewing my bottle, which is the Eau de Parfum concentration. They released actually Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum together. Um, so just to let you guys know if you're shopping around for this fragrance, I am reviewing the EDP. So let's start this review. Let's go. Potion hit the shelves in 2011. Bottle size are the 1 ounce, 1.7 ounce, and the big boy, the one that you see here, the 3.4 ounce bottle. Concentration would be Eau de Parfum, which is the one I'm going to be reviewing today. Eau de Toilette in a perfume oil concentration. Flankers. Uh, Potion actually has a few flankers available in the men's aisle. One called Blue Cadet and another which is uh, one that really is piquing my interest is Potion Royal Black. Also Potion was released with a women's uh, version which is a counterpart uh, with the same name. Online. This one is approximately as far as the cost goes 25 to $60. It is a mid-range designer, so it's not going against the upper echelons, the Armani's, the Chanel's, uh, and then Zial's. Um, the one thing is availability of this fragrance. It really didn't have a huge market. They didn't really release it everywhere. Um, however, if you do find it at a discounter, it will be very cheap. I've seen a bottle of this very cheap in Canada. You're looking at 20 bucks. Uh, so really look around and you can find this cheaply. Now at the presentation, the box itself, super simple. Um, it almost looks like pretty freaking close to a tester box. There was really not much uh, thinking here with this box. Um, as you can see, um, it is embossed, so it says D squared potion here that is embossed. Uh, mine says Eau de Parfum right here. And then there's a third sticker here that says uh, 100 mils and it says uh, four man at the bottom you see eau de parfum pour homme um, there's nothing on the sides here or at the top in the back um, there is a little bit of writing it says d square 1964 uh, made in italy and then of course the barcode and everything else so now let's take a look at the bottle in depth the bottle design is actually inspired by old pharmaceutical uh, bottles. Um, I really like that they went away from the uh, he would, uh, she would line and went with something different here. Um, I really do embrace this uh, new packaging. Um, this bottle is actually pretty de decent, even though it is pretty simplistic. I really like that the glass goes in and out here. You see, um, it goes out here, inside, out again. Um, they are stickers, but they, you know, this is the name of the fragrance with the brand. Um, this has the concentration and some of the ingredients and then of course down here uh, we have the bottle size and it does say four man so it kind of steals a little bit from uh, the box itself on um, the cap very simplistic there is no logo on the top um it is ribbed here for her pleasure i mean no it's just a cap and uh if i move it on the side here there is some ribbing here so you can grab onto your bottle i like that and then in the back here you can see d squared 1964 um, like it said on the box and then at the bottom you got your sweet old sticker as you usually do. <laughs> the nose attached to a uh, potion is none other than Anik Monardo. Now Anik Monardo is a Hall of Fame nose in the fragrance game. Um, I have talked about Anik at least two dozen times on my channel. Um, she has built at least half a dozen of my favorite designer fragrances, um, Hall of Famer all the way. Um, she is known to utilize woods and resins uh, quite well in designer fragrances, and this fragrance has, you guessed it, woods and resins. Now, D Squared is also known for woods, duh. They're almost, their whole lineup says wood. He would, she would, all that stuff. So when I heard Anik Monardo was teaming up with D squared to make a new fragrance and I looked at the note breakdown I was pretty 
pretty, pretty happy. <laughs> noses at times will sell me on a fragrance. Um, Annick Monardo is one of those noses that will sell me on a particular fragrance and uh, she did on potion. So now let's take a look at the notes she utilized. So in the opening, we got mint leaves, angelica, and thyme. Now in the mid, we got rose, black pepper, we got a little bit of spice here, and the beast in this fragrance, cinnamon. Now in the base, we got cashmere wood, patchouli, amber, and musk. Major notes to this nose right here, cashmere wood, cinnamon's the big boy in this one, amber is going to back this thing up, and a little pinch of black pepper group this is a woody fragrance how many sprays and where i'm going to show you guys my application right now <laughs> my application for potion very simple straightforward one on the chest without the shirt two on the neck bam bam thank you ma'am and then two on the arms so right now i'm wearing a long sleeve shirt but i got most of my arm uh out when I'm washing my hands, I don't want to wear fragrance here if I don't have to. So if I'm wearing a shirt like this, right here, right at the cusp, right here. That's right, Expo exposed skin. Um, and sometimes I might shoot one on the shirt. This is a white shirt. This is dark juice, so I want to be careful uh, to stay in the shirt. Always think that way. Now it's time to dissect this sucker. Let's smell it. Well, oh. That opening um, always puts a smile on my face. This is very underrated juice. I love the opening of Potion. The top of Potion immediately puts the smile on my face. Makes me think of a souvenir shop in Northern Canada. Spices being sold, woodwork all over the shop. It's so warm, it's comforting. This is how I would explain Potion, woods, spices a souvenir shop it just has that warm comfortable feeling and i know a lot of our youtubers uh, live in canada and you'll know what i'm talking about um, it just has a warm comforting feeling in potion the top of potion hits you with the three-headed monster of this fragrance a amber it's sticky and it's resinous um it's not big and bold um it is toned down um, so it's not going to be your Amber Absolute, no. Um, however, it's almost like the ghost of Amber Absolute. It has that stickiness, that resinous to the fragrance. Um, people think that they smell caramel in this fragrance. No, that's the Amber. It has that stickiness to the fragrance. Second big boy in this fragrance, the woods, the cashmere wood. Um, cashmere wood, close cousin of cedar, um, has, obviously, it smells like cedar. And it has a little bit of musk uh, to uh, the scent too. So you're gonna smell a little muskiness in this fragrance. And most no notably, the number one note in this fragrance, Cinnamon Lovers, let's unite. It is cinnamon sticks. And it is very, very, how can I explain it? It's beautiful. Mmm. <laughs> you can smell from top to bottom in this fragrance. I love the note of cinnamon. Um, I, I can pinpoint cinnamon, even if you have a little dash of cinnamon in a fragrance, I can, I can go, yeah, there's cinnamon in this fragrance, and I love it, I love it, I love it during the fall. Um, this one has a wallop of it. Most of the, the notes in this fragrance kind of overlap each other um, with the same idea. Um, most notably, uh, I'll kind of give you guys some examples. Angelica, uh, which isn't spoken about when describing the scent, it is actually a major player. It's musky, it's green, it's woody, and it has some sweetness to it and some spice. Um, a lot of these notes kind of overlap each other. I think the note breakdown um, really could have been almost um, split into half because like musk comes from a lot of these notes. Um, the, the woods, the cashmere wood has musk too, so you can take musk right out of the equation, um, things like that. Now going back to the cinnamon, just because it's so nice, I just want to talk about it a little bit more. The cinnamon is the star of the show in Potion, and any cinnamon lover like myself is going to enjoy this fragrance. There's no way that you're not going to like this fragrance if you like cinnamon. Um, it's full bodied, it truly is remarkable in Potion. Um, you will not regret the cinnamon in this fragrance. The cashmere wood has a big place in potion. I mean, it really is, you're getting a huge wallop of it right in the introduction. Um, you know, it, it almost fooled me as the backer of this fragrance. The amber is uh, the backer of this fragrance, but the cashmere wood uh, has a huge, huge part in this fragrance. Now, 
Cashmere wood will make the user think immediately cedar wood. They're close cousins. Um, it has a musky backbone to it too, so you're gonna smell a little bit of that more in the trail end of this fragrance. The scent is often compared to Gucci Puram One. Um, Gucci's more of a woody fragrance than this one, more about woods and incense than anything. Potion is more about cinnamon, woods, and amber. And the woods in here, even though it's a close cousin to cedar, yeah, it's not as woody as Gucci put on one, even though there's a lot of woods in here. Um, I would say not a close cousin, but they're playing in the same playground, we'll say. The opening to Potion is beautifully blended, and it is something that always puts a smile on my face. Um, every time I wear this in the fall, it's a love it. You know, every time I wear it, I love it. Uh, every single time. Um, it always puts a smile on my face. It's very warm. It's comforting. Um, and that is the theme of this whole review, warm and comfort. It really is in the same alley as Gucci Put On One, Burberry, London. Um, a lot of these scents don't have much push to them, but they're very comforting and they're great for the fall. Um, you know, Burberry London doesn't push very much, but it is a winter and fall scent. Um, I love wearing it indoors, and this is kind of where Potion goes. Gucci Puram, same thing, doesn't have much push to it, but it's a very manly scent, um, and it really does work really well in the indoors. When it is cold, um, around Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas, these kind of fragrances work so well, and this is Thanksgiving, Christmas, this too. So let's get back to the dry down. I'm trailing off. Once Potion dries down, the development does not move much. Um, you know, cinnamon, cashmere woods still being the central theme of this fragrance. Um, however, the amber and musk amp up and give the scent even more of a warming quality. So that's when people are going to say they start smelling a caramel-like feel. Um, the amber is resinous. It's sticky, but it's not amber absolute-like. Um, it really is toned down, um, but very, very good quality i think um it is a tad sweet so you're gonna have a little bit of sweetness here from the amber um but not too resinous or sweet um it really is very i would say they muffle it but it's not the right word for it because it does have some bite to it a little bit um i like it um how can i say this it has just enough balance it's a perfect balance with the other notes the amber just fits in it's the backing of this fragrance it is the color of the juice. Um, Potion is a dry, woody, spicy scent uh, with some musk and uh, a good amount of amber, and it really is gorgeous. The blend, the placing of these notes in the whole scheme of things in Potion uh, were perfectly placed. Uh, Modardo muffled enough of the amber, um, gave us enough kick, made it enough interesting enough, um, good amount of woods here. Uh, cinnamon toned up and I love that so I really feel like I love Monardo style and this is uh, Monardo written all over it so overall potion smells like going in a souvenir shop candles woods crafts um, incense burning um, even though there's no incense in this it just makes me feel of that this scent is in a tie with Rocky Mountain Wood as the best D-squared fragrance available for men that I have smelt from the brand. Um, it is, this and Rocky Mountain Wood is a tie for the best fragrance in the men's uh, lineup for D-squared. Potion's a fragrance that I was super surprised um, in our fragrance community. Nobody's talking about it. I think the the only one that was really talking about this was Christo. Um, he, he gave it a, a really great review, just like I am right now. Um, you know a fellow Canadian and really in Canada this was not even pushed and they D squared is from Canada um, so really um, potion didn't do very well as far as marketing goes or sales I was kind of surprised at that because of the quality of the juice so this is one of those underrated gems I really think that this one is once it's gone discontinued people are going to start searching for it that's what i think um on the backing of some excellent reviews online because if you go online it does have some great great reviews d squared fragrance sales i know are much bigger in europe than in uh, north america and this is probably why there's a lack of a launch in Canada and the United States and that's why the lack of reviews most of our reviewers are from the United States and Canada um, which this fragrance brand is from Canada so that's 
kind of a shame to be quite honest. Uh, potion overall, great composition. And I always say that this fragrance is great during Thanksgiving and Christmas time. So I'm gonna launch this fragrance review right around Christ Christmas time because this is one of those, if you're going out on Boxing Day and you see this fragrance and it's cheap, snap it up, snap it up. <laughs> Especially if it's cheap. If it's around 20 to $30, this is one of the best 20, $30 fragrances um, that I've smelt. Um, this, I paid full retail on this one. I think Potion does not get the credit it deserves because of the poor marketing D squared pushed it with. Unfortunately, it will be missed when it's gone. Maybe only by me, <laughs> me and Crystal. <laughs> so my final take on Potion, recommended age, any. Teens can wear this right up to the older gentleman. It all depends on your taste. If you love cinnamon, if you like cedar wood, even though cashmere wood's a close cousin, it really does smell like cedar. You look at the reviews, people are saying this is cedar in this fragrance. Um, if you like that, you know, 50 year old man can wear this, uh, teenagers, anybody. Reminds people of what? The reviews say Gucci put on one. Mm. Gucci put on one is, you know, in the same backyard. We got him by Annie Marie just because there's tons of cinnamon in that fragrance. Uh, Gucci put on two because of the cinnamon. Um, I would probably put in the same theme as Gucci put on one. Burberry London. Um, those are the kind of scents that you would be wearing if you'd be wearing this. So if you like those, you're probably going to like this. Awards on my channel. This one has won a bunch of awards. I have put a spotlight on Potion. Just nobody has been hearing me. <laughs> so awards on my channel. Um, I made my top 20 fall in 2013 at number 18. Top 20 fall again the year after in 2014 at number 13. So it moved up. Um, it made my best release list in 2011. And that includes niche and designer. It made it at number two. So I think this is a top three release in 2011 and I still feel that way. I looked at the roster and yeah, it's one of the best releases in 2011. And I'm um, not forgetting fall because it makes the fall list every single year since I've purchased it, 2013, 14. And yes, last year, fall 2015, it made it at number 13. I haven't released my 2016 fall yet, so this may show up. Again, <laughs> best, uh, best time to wear this fragrance, cool nights, perfect. Best during intimate situations and close quarters. So again, Burberry London, Gucci put on two, same thing. Um, if you're indoors, Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving time, or when it's cold out, you're wearing a sweater, this is the perfect time to wear this fragrance. Really great indoors during Christmas. Um, now let's go into seasons, the best season for it, as you can see from my awards on my channel, it is Fall. This is a fall based fragrance. It just doesn't have enough oomph during uh, winter, but you can wear it for winter. It's just you gotta wear it indoors. Um, outdoors, it just doesn't have enough push, enough projection to it. Longevity is there uh, for this type of fragrance. Also, cool summer nights, cool spring days or nights, um, more nights than anything, um, this can be more. <clears throat> the development of Potion is fairly linear. Um, it really doesn't move much on my skin. What you're gonna smell from the top is pretty much what you're gonna get at the end. I mean, there's not much movement in this fragrance. Is it work appropriate? I'd rather not wear it at work. I mean, it's not that kind of scent. You could, it can be a work scent um, just because it doesn't push too much. Um, that goes to signature scent. Same thing, um, I wouldn't really recommend this as a signature scent. Um, however, you can, depending on your taste. Um, I really think that this is the type of fragrance that you would wear every so often. It's one of those that would be in your arsenal and you'd be wearing it from time to time. Now, why would you hate this fragrance? Smells like potpourri, yes. Um, too much spice, too much cinnamon. Um, I don't want to smell like woods and cinnamon. I don't want to smell like a craft store, Mark. <laughs> That's why you would hate it. Um, if you don't like woody and cinnamon, mostly, uh, type scents, this is not for you. Why would you love it? Well, if you love woody scents, yeah. Uh, you like cedar? Yeah, cashmere wood is close to cedar, so I'm going to say that. Cinnamon junkies like myself, um, this has plenty of cinnamon. It's beautiful. Um, it's well composed. There's a great nose behind it. Um, I really think that this one is a winner. Let's go to my rating system and I'm going to rate Potion. Split screen, let's go. Projection, 
Projection is where this thing gets low marks by almost everybody. Um, even though it's Eau de Parfum Concentration, um, I am going to give this a six bottles out of 10. It is a soft to mid projection. Um, I don't get that bad. You know, some people like to exaggerate. Um, the projection is not too bad. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a six bottles out of 10 for a reason. It's kind of average. Um, it's not gonna project too much. Longevity, seven bottles out of 10. Um, it is a little lower than my V that I'm looking for. Um, it gives me, give or take, five to eight hours every single wearing, so not too bad. Again, it is a softer Eau de Parfum. If you're looking at EDP and you're saying, oh, I'm gonna get a Beast Mode fragrance, you're gonna be sadly upset. And that's a lot of people that purchased this. They were kind of upset that they got an EDP and it wasn't really going and pushing beast mode. Um, that is not the type of fragrance you're getting here, folks. Compliment factor, not a huge compliment factor here. Six bottles out of 10. Um, if you're looking for something, uh, it, it doesn't have that much sweetness. It doesn't, you know, all these things that certain fragrances that do get compliments. Um, this one really was a just a little bit above average at a six. Uniqueness, I'm gonna give this bottle or this fragrance, this juice, uh, eight bottles out of 10. I really think, even though it uses um, notes that are really commercial, cinnamon's been here for forever, um, it really is the balance of the notes. Um, the way the notes went up and down, the cinnamon's very much amped up. The cashmere wood was actually well blended in here. Fooled a lot of people thinking there was cedar in this sucker. Um, really nicely done. Um, and the amber, obviously resinous, sticky, and people were thinking there was smelling caramel and it was gourmandish. Um, really, I think, um, well composed. So the uniqueness at an eight. Pricing versus what you get a nine, people, nine. Um, depending on the price, I'm going for retail right now. Um, even then, I'm looking at eBay, I'm looking at, at certain websites, and you're looking at uh, basically a mid-price designer. Um, if you're looking at 20 to 30 bucks for this stuff, that is a steal. So I'm giving it a nine. Versatility, six bottles out of 10. Um, cool weather, but not too cool. It's one of those that it's gonna take a hit in the versatility score just because um, I can't really wear this in the high heat. Um, in the super, super cold, um, it's not going to last. So it's more of those fall, you know, spring, cool spring days, nights, and then summer nights is perfect. Um, winter indoors is this what this fragrance is going to do for you. Um, really not a signature scent and really not something that I would say is really versatile. Smell, same thing with the uniqueness. I have to give it to Monardo. She did a great job here. Nine bottles out of ten. Really solid scent. And that goes to an overall score for Potion. I'm going to give Potion a very solid, solid score of an eight bottles out of ten. And that goes to Buy, Try, or Pass. This is a... Buy. <laughs> Z buy. Um, for the price point, for everything um, that I think, and if you think this is a fragrance that f from everything I've told you, I've told you the good things and the bad things about this fragrance, if this sounds up your alley. The scent itself is absolutely gorgeous. Monardo did her thing on this one, and that means it's a buy. Potion Eau de Parfum. I can't complain. Um, before you guys comment below for the Eau de Toilette, I've never smelled the EDT of this stuff. Hopefully I can get my hand on it and see what the difference is. So I can't really tell you guys what the difference is between the two. Um, I really enjoy this Eau de Parfum version. And that goes to all of you out there. Please comment below. Let us know what you think about Potion. Um, you can agree, disagree, I don't care. I love hearing your feedback on a fragrance that I just reviewed. Uh, to see what you guys think about this fragrance. And that goes to also, if you haven't smelled this, what's your favorite cinnamon-based fragrance? I'm always looking for new fragrances and I always forget on fragrance reviews to ask you guys a question. And I think a cinnamon-based, I, I own quite a few, but I'm still looking for more. Please comment below with your best cinnamon-based fragrance. Thanks, YouTube. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Have a good one.